hello guys welcome back to my channel so it's been a while since you've seen me but i don't know i've just been really like scatterbrained it's finally time to do these roots though they have been growing in for like two months now maybe longer i don't know i am a natural like brunette although i was born like a blonde so I think that kind of make I think that's why like my hair looks like so well this like platinum color the only products I use are ion and ion and ion and then um yeah I'm just gonna bleach the roots myself all I do like to part my hair is I just kind of like start behind the ear and I go up towards like the top of my head and then I section out this that's really like the only sectioning I do just because I'm doing my hair myself and otherwise it gets super complicated especially because like my hair is long it's like tangled and stuff I don't know I've tried it it doesn't work for me especially because I can't see behind my head like, it doesn't matter how many, like, sections there are. If I can't see what's going on, it's, like, really hard. And then I guess sometimes I'll, like, separate it in half. And, and just do, like, this side, then this side. But, yeah. For the back of my head, I'm just measuring out. I wish my scale was, like, more accurate. It's really not accurate at all. But, okay, I'm just starting with... I am using a scale with a bowl. But I'm just starting out with one ounce of this cream bleach. And then I'm going to add two ounces of the 30 volume developer. So I really just want to mix up enough to cover the back of my head, like that section first. And then I'll mix up, I'll mix up a stronger solution for like this front part. Actually, I feel like I've Oh, that's fine. Let me just tuck in the frizz. Yeah, so I put two ounces of 30 and then I just mix it really well. I do think it's like important to use a scale though because not like okay, so yeah, I could get lucky, right? Like if I'll just like measure it by eye, then yeah, I could get lucky, but then like how do I repeat those results? You know what I mean? We're scientists. We're scientists, so we need accurate measurements. But yeah, I just mix it really well until it's like smooth and then I add in the perfecter. So it was like three ounces here, so I just added one fourth plus one eighth, whatever that is, like plus three, I don't know, five eighths, who knows. You guys ever watch that YouTuber Guy Tang? He's like the first person I started watching as far as like learning how to bleach my own hair. And he used to always just do like a little tiny splash of Olaplex. I like never really understood that. Like, is that like all you need? Just like a splash? Because that would save me a lot of money if I just had to do a splash. But I do like a whole ton. <laughs> Alright, so it's all mixed up. This is like my favorite brush. I got this from Sally's Beauty. Not only is it gorgeous to look at, but it's also really soft. And especially like when you're touching your roots, like I really don't like, oh, I'm trying, I'm, I'm trying out new foundation, but I really don't like, um, like the hard bristle brushes. They're just like, it hurt my head. So yeah, the first thing I'm going to do is, wow, this foundation matches me so well. Ignore. <laughs> so I just start at the bottom and brush it on like I kind of just gotten a hang of it doing it on myself um I don't know I guess it's just because it just takes practice and then you can I use a like a brand new like clean one and this is like the bristles that I hate these are the cheap ones at Sally's that you can get, but these like hurt and they're like really, really stiff. I don't even think it's a brush. I think it's just hard plastic. So I section 
I'm wearing, oh yeah, I'm not wearing gloves because I don't have any. It's not even because there's like a glove shortage, I just don't have any. And then I do another layer. I will say it's like super hard to do your own hair. Like, if I had someone to do my hair, I would totally use them, but such is life. I'm an independent woman, baby, that's right. And then I just keep sectioning going all the way up. And then, yeah, and then, and then, and then, and then, and then. Yeah. Yes, that's all I do. Talking to myself. I know I'm, <laughs> I know I'm not talking to myself. I know I'm talking to you guys, but yeah, sometimes it feels like I'm talking to myself. So, I've just been feeling like really blah. Um, really unmotivated. Although I did start working on, I started writing a book. I think I mentioned that. Did I mention that? I don't know. Even though I majored in English and um, like to major in English, it basically just means you take like a bunch of English courses. No, I didn't just major, like, no, I did graduate. But um, yeah, so what am I trying to say? I've read a lot of books. When I was in high school though, I never read anything. Like, I can tell you I didn't read a single assigned reading book. I would, however, like read on my own. So like, the only time I would ever like do a book report is if one of the books on the reading list was a book I'd already read. Like one time in seventh grade, the book was Holes, which I had already read. So I was able to like, successfully complete that but otherwise my English grades were always like D's and C's because I never read anything I don't know if it's just like my if somebody tells me to do something I just want to do it less than if I was to do it on my own but I did like read a lot um in like second grade I read like so many books my teacher invented an award just to give to me. It's like a reading award. I mean, that's when you know you're like a bookworm. When you read so many books, your teacher invents an award called the best reader and gives it to you. Which was kind of a good idea because Like, otherwise I wouldn't have gotten an award because I really didn't do anything else. I didn't do my homework. I just show up to school. I just read a bunch of books. <laughs> no, but one time I did, um, I read in like 10th grade, I read the Joy Luck Club because that was on the reading list. And I read, I'd seen the movie and I really liked the movie. So I was like, well, I liked the movie. I should do this book and read it, but I'm not sure what happened because <laughs> that, okay, think about it this way, right? So I had never read a book that was assigned, and in 10th grade, I finally read a book that's assigned, and I actually read the entire thing, and not only did I read the entire book, I also watched the movie or had seen the movie. And yet, on the book report, I got like a 50, a 50%. It was like a multiple choice question and I just didn't get anything right. So sad. I remember going back to the teacher and being like, you know, I read this book. I'm really shocked I didn't like do better on this quiz. But...
all that to say, I've always liked English. I've just never liked school. But that's why I majored in, in well, I was also really good at creative writing. That's probably why I passed English, because I didn't read any of the books, but I did get pretty good marks on my writing. So I think that's why I passed English. Anyways, long story short, I guess like being somewhat decent at English made me want to start writing. I actually read this really good article yesterday. It was all about the 25 steps to getting published the lazy way. I'll link it down below. If I forget to link it, just ask me in the comments. I'll post it. But it was like, write your garbage novel. <laughs> it's like step one. Write your piece of garbage fire worst piece of literature ever written book because then once you write it no one can take that away from you you will be somebody who completed a book i think that's really good advice just for anything like anything you want to do in life just do the garbage performance that you know you're going to do you know, you know you're gonna be awful at it. Everything, like your first dance recital, your first singing performance, just get up there and do your awful performance because it only gets better from there. I really cannot see what I'm doing. So I've started writing my garbage fire book I'm on page 25. What I really like about writing is it's the same thing about reading is like you don't know what's going to happen. Everything's a surprise. And I really enjoy that aspect of it because it's kind of like, you guys ever, you know when you read like a book and you're like, ugh, terrible ending, you know? Or a movie and you're like, ugh, oh, sucked. Who, wrote, who writes this garbage? But when you write it yourself, like, you get to decide what happens. You get to decide, well, in some... You get to decide what happens to the characters. They win, lose. And that aspect of it is really, really fun. I'll just put it on my shirt, I guess. But then I notice, like, if I start writing poorly, I won't be interested in it anymore. Like, the screenplays I wrote that I'm not interested in anymore, I think it's because they weren't any good. But you know, you gotta write your garbage fire. get better at it. Here's what it looks like in the back. Looks like garbage fire. <laughs> oh, have any of you watched my character reel that I posted? So I've been like procrastinating about posting anything of me like acting wise just because I didn't want to do a bad job and then I realized like hello like nothing's going to be perfect the first time you do it so I decided to just give it a go. 
and there is like a sense of accomplishment with it like wow I finished something did something I really wanted to do so my next goal is to post another one do at least like five of them and then take like the very best characters and get costumes for them and um like maybe a few props mostly just costumes though and um post that and then make like you know like a really professional looking one And then the other goal is to, I guess like this book writing thing is really just a hobby, but yeah, the goal would be to finish it and then maybe post it on um, Kindle or Amazon so y'all can read it. I would like heavily edit it though. So if you guys really enjoy writing and you want to start like a writer's group or something, I'm totally down to join. I kind of would like, you know, people that um, you to find maybe another writer who is in the same like young adult genre and wants to swap novels like that would be ideal too so if you're like a young adult writer and the reason i say young adult is because that's really the genre i'm most familiar with that's the majority of the books i've read and been interested in or young adult novels, coming of age. Like I took a whole course on um, identifying what books are right for each like student. And like when you pick apart a, when you pick apart novels based on like identity and themes and elements that are relatable to the audience like it it really gave me a really good perspective on what like makes a young adult novel good like the reason I liked certain books like the reason I like Twilight it's the elements of Twilight that I related to And then there's like, so yeah, I'm, I'm definitely like having that in the back of my head while I'm writing, like who I'm writing for myself, obviously, but you know, I'm also being conscious of like the reader and how, you know, books are very influential, you know? And so this is how much I have left. I'm just gonna mix in I guess one more ounce. I guess I'm gonna mix in one more ounce of bleach. So I actually did just 0.8. I was aiming for 0.75, but I still just didn't do like half measurements. So now I'm just gonna put in the 40 volume developer. I'm gonna put an ounce and a half. So. I should zero it out again. Ounce and a half. Oops, yeah. So it's like one to two. And I'm just gonna mix that with my this brush again. And then 
keep mixing it. The other thing I've been thinking about lately is like moving um, to like a small like secluded cabin and like being a professional writer. I guess I just romanticize life. <laughs> it's probably a roman romantic idea but like how cute would it be to like get a little cottage like secluded and just like write just like write a book so that's like what i'm like dreaming about right now i know it's like but amy what about all your other goals like you keep changing it up it's like it's just a fantasy, like, it's just an idea. So now I'm gonna add, so what is that? What's one and a half plus 75, 0.75, what is that? That's like two, three, I guess it's like three. I'm just gonna do that same amount. The 1.4 ounces. Oh, it's all gone. Cause that makes it easy. We finished that bottle. This wasn't even like all the way full though. That's so disappointing. It says it came with two ounces. I, I honestly, cause remember last time I used it, I completely forgot to use it. I feel like I ran through it really quickly. Maybe it wasn't, I don't think it was filled up all the way. I don't think it had two ounces inside it. So I'll use you guys as a Selena to do. I probably definitely need the solution in the 40 volume though because it's gonna be really, it's gonna be really highly concentrated. You can see it, it just looks like an oil. Well, no, you can't see it. But on my lips, I, I love this lip color. It's, um, what is it called? I think it's called Rose NYX. It's very like Barbie. Yeah. Anyways. Anyways. And then what's the new one? No, we should start the rest of my hair. So I'm gonna have to remove my glasses only because I need to start right here where my ear is. I can't have my glasses in the way. So you guys know what I do. I start at one ear and then I go all the way to the other. That's how I do my hair. I think it's like super efficient. And hopefully this back part's already ripped in. Um ugh. Hair's just like falling out. My hair's getting like a, a little bit damaged. I don't know. I don't know if I can keep up this like platinum blonde. Should have brushed my hair. What was I thinking? I don't know. Maybe it's the overlapping or stuff. Stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, oh, I guess I should say that if you're new to my channel, then, um, welcome. Don't forget to subscribe. Oh my gosh, did you see that big dollop hit me? It's me, I'm back. 
So I decided to speed up the rest of this section because I really didn't talk a lot. I guess I ran out of things to talk about. <laughs> like surprise, surprise. There's no surprise there. <laughs> Don't ever hang out with me. It'll just be like hours and hours of like silence. But <laughs> um, the, the one thing I did notice, cause I had like a few um, spots I guess that I missed is that uh, I start to like thin out the bleach that I put on my head and I think that was a mistake I think I should have kept like dolloping a lot of bleach on I, I don't know why I was like being so like I don't know what's the word like resourceful with the bleach because the parts like that I put a bunch on like it came out really well so yeah I would just say that like if you're watching this and you see like right here I, it's like really thin you know not like putting it on thick that that part didn't turn out as well as the other parts where I put the bleach on really thick but yeah I'm looking forward to the Valentine's Day movie with Owen Wilson and Jennifer Lopez that, to me that looks like really good it reminds me of Jennifer Lopez's old movies back with Made in Manhattan. Uh, those are some really good years. And the wedding planner. Like, she was like the it girl for romantic comedies. I miss those old days, those like romantic comedy days. So, um, what else is new? Not a whole lot. Uh, feel free to like, if you have any questions, to put those in the comment. I respond to every single comment. And I read every single comment. Sometimes if I've already responded and I get a response, I don't always get notified that I have a new like response. So it might be helpful just to hit at with my name. That way it at least shows up in the mentions and at section on my notifications. I don't know. We'll just try it and see if that works. But um... Yeah, I do respond to every single comment. I really appreciate you guys' like feedback and input. Um, and yeah, I also um, I also think my hair looks really good in this lighting. <laughs> this is like natural daylight that you're looking at right now. And I've done all my hair myself. I've bleached it myself like from the roots to end that's all the work that I've put into doing my hair so yeah anyways it's over now so oh my gosh did I miss all this mess up I guess I'm gonna have to mix up some more I just had to mix up like three more ounces of bleach but I will say this does not work as a mixing brush it like fills up the product fills it all up and it gets all like messy so stick with stick with like these for mixing but the soft bristle for application My Kelly color. Oh, and this big drop on my shirt. <laughs>
I didn't add any of that booster to this, so it's straight bling on you. Look at look the back versus the part I haven't done yet. Let's see, it's blonde. to rinse my hands off because look at my thumb that's what happens when you don't wear gloves the you know what it is it's the peroxide in it working its way under the layers of skin that's why it's burning that's why they say you should wear gloves when you do your hair The only other thing that I really ever wanted to be was a lawyer, a politician, a plastic surgeon, but I was never in like a good science class that I actually enjoyed and wanted to be there, so I never like did well in science. In fact, I don't know anything about science. Like, I didn't finish a single, like, chemistry class or physics class in high school. So, I'd literally be starting from nothing, like, knowledge-wise. I know nothing. But I've always wanted to be a doctor. Just because I really love plastic surgery. <laughs> I love Dr. Nantuno, shows like that. But, I mean, I do have a bachelor's degree, but I would have to, I would have to um, take the prere prerequisites um, for medical school. Although technically I was looking up online, I could probably also go to like a foreign foreign medical school. I don't know if you'd want me to operate on you, but they can't be that bad. I mean, people people are like going to like. I don't know, Brazil for butt lifts and stuff. I mean, I'd probably be learning from the best, you know? That's where everyone's going to get their work done. And then, obviously, like, to be a lawyer, I've already taken the LSAT. My LSAT score is 161. And I didn't get into, like the school I wanted to go to. I wanted to go to UCLA. So I wanted in-state tuition um, for my GI Bill. And I didn't get in with a 161. That's not good enough, so. I didn't want to go to the other schools that were like super expensive. Cause I know I'm not like a hard worker. 
It's just a fact, you know. I know my limitations. I'm not like a go-getter, 80 hour, 80 hour work week, like intern that's gonna get like promoted. I'd probably never get promoted on any job. Like most likely to get fired, just cause my personality. I, I, I look and act like I don't want to be there. I do want to be there. I just my personality, you know. So. Now that that's all done, I'm gonna let it sit in my hair for, I don't know, probably like 20 more minutes. But, outside of being a lawyer, I also wanted to be a politician. I just have a lot of big ideas. <laughs> See my hand? It's just the peroxide though. And then, um, I guess I should take that off. I'm trying to think of the other things I wanted to be, like, did you guys know, like, to be a makeup artist, you don't actually need a license? So, like, technically I am a makeup artist right now. In some states. I think in other states you do need a license, but otherwise, no, you don't need one. I doubt it's like really important on your resume either because Instagram and like are basically like an, a makeup artist portfolio, you know? But yeah, I'm just gonna clean up. And um, I also really wanna be at the Hunter Act North Reading. <laughs> it just came on naturally. Hashtag Instagram flawless. Look at my flaws. That's why I hate wearing sports bras because they like really push down on this like this is actually your um oh, what is it called? Everyone breaks it. It's this thing too. They have the same thing. This thing loops in. I don't know what it's called. I did get makeup on my shirt. Um, most random hair video ever. Oh yeah, I thought I was going to start cleaning up. Okay, here's the final reveal. I haven't looked at it yet. I'll have a surprise. And I'm probably not going to tone it. I usually only tone my hair if I'm doing something like special. So I'll probably just publish into it and call it a day. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you in the next video. Bye. And this is just me brushing it out. And I know I look miserable, but I promise I'm not miserable. This is the way my face looks. And I didn't really have any hair loss either. So that's really good. Just showing you what did fall out and I'll see you guys next time bye